Alright guys, welcome to part 12, which should be the final part of our journey in Willamette. I'm just going to take it slow because you run too far and they'll lose grip because this game's dumb. So yes, yeah, so you have to open that for her and then just basically hold the zombies off until she gets back out so yeah, yeah the end of last episode we so yeah the end of last episode she made the uh, like zombie repulsion thing so now we're making our way through this random cave that turned up in the clock tower. As our only means of escape. Luckily I had some milk in my inventory. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to like heal at all, so that was lucky. Where she gone? There she is. See, so yeah, pretty simple. Just you know, run all the way through. I thought there's more gates to have to deal with than this, but I guess not. So if I haven't completely like screwed up uh, and losing all my items I've got in 72 hour mode, things actually worked out pretty well, literally just because of the the Mega Buster, saved my ass. Then we have a few more soldiers to deal with down here. And then we're home free to the super long tank section. Now we're getting somewhere, and here we go. Are you sure this was a good idea? Guards here, too. If we can get that gate open, they'll be too busy dealing with zombies to notice us slip by. Wait! The pheromone is starting to wear off. Uh -oh. It's only strong enough to cover one of us. It's not convenient. What are you. What All are right, you hang doing? on tight, okay? Once we're out, let's see if we can't steal ourselves that set of wheels. Yeah, nice. save it, why not? Before something goes terribly wrong. It like wipe my save again, I'll have to do the whole overtime mole over again. Alright, there you are. So carry. Carry just like walk off the edge here? No. Okay. That's fair. So this bit simple enough, just open this gate using the force apparently and not actually grabbing the lever. Oh, I thought that was going to work. Come on. And... Whew. 
there we go. So that's good, it only took like five minutes to get us to the... to the jeep section. And I have no idea why this like... random abandoned quarry is hidden under the clock of a, a more uh, garden, but... Them Americans are crazy. And there you go, there's a big kahuna. Rock in his tank. And the trick here is uh, he's gonna like shoot missiles and stuff and basically the lights will flash like that and you just need to shoot the lights. Am I gonna shoot? I'm trying to shoot that. Okay. I guess I'll just hold it on for longer next time. The controls here feel really stiff. And actually it's going down way quicker than I remember it going down. The uh, first time I did it. Which is probably like, I don't know, three years ago now. When I actually did like over time for the first time. So I've done like a 72 hour mode. Uh, but I just, I just did not have it in me to carry on. Yeah, I feel like this took like literally like 10 minutes or so, but actually it, it really doesn't. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Yeah, there's not really much to say about this section, really. Oh, well, actually, these uh, like mini remote control blimp things remind me of uh, one of the, the bosses. Holy shit! Wow. Remind me of uh, one of the bosses. I think it's Sloth in uh, Dead Rising 3, and he's just like a dude and he's dressing down in underpants. The like remote control weapons and stuff. I do not like these missiles. These missiles like stress me out really bad. I don't even know what these things do. They're just kind of like flowing. So I'm like actually like. Doing anything for him? Shit. Okay, now it's getting serious. So look, look at this. Come on, come on. Hey there. My eyes like full of water and like just trying to concentrate. Right, there we go, come on. That was lucky I had that um Good. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Alright, happy with that. Ten minutes and we defeated the XM3 prototype tank. Or as I like to call it, the proto tank, because that sounds cool. Look at that face! These automated machines are no use at all on the battlefield. Switch to manual control. Nice slow mo there. Aim 
main cannon. Oh, shit. Well, what have we here? Where were you hiding when my men mopped up the mall? On a mission in which the number of targets is unclear, it's difficult to ensure absolute thoroughness. Huh. You have imagination. That's what drives you in your quest to run. Your quest to hide. As prey, you and your kind are much more stubborn than the zombies. How much do you know about the zombies? I commanded the Santa Cabeza cleanup operation. If we had fulfilled our mission then, we wouldn't be needed here now to take care of this... incident. That's all it was to you, huh? A mission. What about those innocent people who had to pay for sins committed by our government our and its inhuman research? Our mistakes have not begun with this operation. <laughs> Humanity has proven itself to be quite adept at making mistakes. Ha! Hell, it's the only thing we truly excel at. Well then, I'd say this mission isn't quite over yet. Don't you agree? And here we go, Brock, the military man, against our photojournalist Frank in his underpants. And I cannot get this. Shit, shit, I am getting destroyed right now. Guys, this is not good. I need, I need to go down here and practice this kick. See, now I can do it when he's not there. Oh my god. I couldn't even get a good kick on him in that one. When I tried that, it didn't work. My god. Now, come on. And then Isabella over there is looking. Alright, come on. There you go, there you go, come on. Another one, no. I don't know what he's doing here. This isn't fair. Fuck. I'm just getting what? started. But what the actual shit just happened? I fucking hate this game so much. Fucking hate it.
I was trying, I was clicking it, and it just wasn't working. Alright, you know what? I'll, I'll save you guys the, uh, the misery, and I'll just skip ahead to uh, being on the tank again. So I'll see you guys then, which is right now. Okay, so no messing around. I'm trying. I'm actually trying. I know it looks like I'm not. I am trying. Come on. See, look at that. Look, look at it. Come on, get up. How, how, how can you always block it? Come on! Come on! Oh shit. Oh yes! There we go. There it is. Dead Rising. Done. Finished. Overtime mode. Complete. Now let's have a look at how it ends. Here you go. Thank God for that. So there you go. Uh, yeah, that's that's Dead Rising. There we go. It took me far longer to get out of the way than I would have liked, but now it is out of the way. It's done. I can move on to something that I haven't played before. So that'll be fun. I'm not entirely sure what that's going to be yet. So I have to dig through my collection to pick one out. It's like literally probably like a hundred games I've got that I haven't even played. Um, for like covering like all the different consoles. So it'll be fun to have a look through them and decide what's next. Anyway, uh, if this was the first one you watched, then thanks for checking it out. If you've been along on the the journey from the start then thanks a lot as well um, yeah there you go there's there's Dead Rising that's that's the game that's the game that was my first like foray into survival horror I guess if you can even call it that unless the the, the comedic elements kind of override that So yeah, like and subscribe for more, because I'm just going to keep on going through my games and... I'm just going to keep on going through my games and bashing them out. Uh, so yeah, Special Forces Boots have been added to the security room. Infinity Mode, which we had. Frank West managed to escape the town of Willamette with information pertinent 
to the incident under his belt. The news caused a fervour throughout the world, leading to the US government to admit at least partial culpability in the livestock research programme. However, no connection to the Wilmer incident was acknowledged and the events that occurred there were deemed the work of a fringe terrorist group. The people of world, as could be expected from the modern culture of news saturation, soon let the Willamette incident fade from their minds. The authenticity of Colito's chilling plan to utilise the orphans as his pawns has yet to be confirmed or proven false. And yet he complained that his belly was not full. So, there we go. Dead Rising. Finished. Completed. Include Infinity Mode. Not Infinity Mode. Include Overtime Mode. Uh, so yeah, thanks for coming on the journey with me and Frank West. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. I'm going to keep doing way more. Just constantly trying to make the channel as good as possible. Um, and make improvements all the time. So, you know, stay tuned. And uh, thanks for watching. And yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys for the next game, whatever that may be. So thanks for joining us and see you next time. Thanks a lot.